Hello and welcome to the Hungaro Ring for the 1988 Hungarian Grand Prix. Slightly different layout to what we're used to, but I'm sure it'll be a brilliant race anyway. It's our new sighting on pole alongside Jonathan Palmer, and it's lights out and away we go. And Rani, Rani Arnu had a pole sight. He's already been overtaken, going to be overtaken by Palmer and um, Patrese, is he? Yes, all down inside goes Patrese. Down inside goes um, Tarkini. What a move from the, um, a not a seller, um, Coloni. And is that um, Jonathan Palmer? No, it's Parasala to the front row down to fifth and sixth. Horrible start from those two. Parasala into third. Senna remains in fourth and Pross. No, that's Pross in fourth. Senna down to seventh. Um, he's trying to get past the Ferrari of Alberto at the moment. But horrible start from Rene Arnu. And let's see how they're doing behind. There's the two Lotuses next to each other. Nakajima and had a PK. Um, Senna trying to get past Alberto now. He's going to be able to get it through the hairpin. No, not. He's a bit too far back. And is that um, an Arrows versus Stefan Johansson? Johansson, of course, locked into the playoffs after his win in Canada. So he doesn't really worry too much about points. Because at the moment, even if, he, if he didn't win, he wouldn't be in... Even if he... Um, he wouldn't... Basically, what I'm trying to say is if, even with the win, he wouldn't be in playoffs if that, that rule didn't exist. So, yeah, I did forget to mention that in the qualifying early on today. But um, if you win, you're automatically locked into the playoffs. But Johansson down inside and Derek Warwick... Is he going to make it move work? Yes, he does, and he's up to 13th place, is the um, Ligier, the Swede. But, but let's see how they're doing it up front. Is that someone off? I think that is someone off. It's Tarkini. What's happened to him? He's being overtaken now by Jonathan Palmer. He's already been overtaken by Prost. I don't know what happened there. But he went off the track through the final sector. And that's a shame. For the one-man team, Coloni. Before now, I haven't got many points. I think it's only two for Tarkini at the moment. So, yeah, unfortunately, um, yeah, he went down. He's still in fourth, so not awful. But let's see what happened to Tarkini. Concentrating, unfortunately. I mean, let's see. You have to start cycling through the final sector now. Parasala. Down, it goes down inside and oh, there's contact, and Parasala almost spins the car around and can't keep it off the grass. I think that is what happened to Tarkini. Let's go back live now. About a minute behind now. Gelman's up to 24. Yeah. Let's do it this way. There you go. All live now. Tarkini up to 4th. Prost trying to get past Perasala. Exact speed already 28 for 29. That should have very decent qualifying. And um, but Parasala still in second place. Senna, where Senna, Senna down to ninth. And it's after to him, he's behind Nini and Alberto. Really many overtakes, to be honest. It is a very narrow circuit, in all fairness. So it is often referred to Monaco about the barriers, and I'm seeing why. It's, um, Palmer gets overtaken by Arnu. They're side by side, but Arnu stays in front. The chicane, but you can't really take through there just because of how narrow it is and how boring the um, flow is, to be honest. I want to see if, in my opinion, this is one of the worst circuits of the calendar. It's that's off goes Palm, um, Tarkini. Off goes Tarkini, and he's been overtaken by Palmer, and he's been overtaken by Arnu. No, he's not. But let's see what happened to Tarkini. You know, Clone, that's the second time he's gone off in as many laps. Let's see what happened. Oh, he just. Mm, Go back a bit further. I want to go on board with him actually. He's behind Parasala. Parasala opens the door and he just. Mm, I don't know. I think Tarkini was in part for a bit more room there, but that's just my opinion. He wasn't fully alongside, but he did have a decent wheel and maybe he should have backed off. I don't know. Let's get back live now. 
and I'm trying to get past him. Back live now. What can the Lichia do? Okay, and he's currently in the point, so that would be a very good um, amount of points for him and the team, of course. He's the only person in the team. So, Zanu into turn one. Is he going to get the move done? No, not quite. I think Tarkini will be focusing on um, catching back up to Jonathan Palmer but in, um, in front of him. Palmer, if he had three podiums in the row, very side there from Tarkini. Three podiums in the row as Palmer tries to get past Alan Pross. Is he going to make it work? No, Tarkini now is going to try and get a move um, on Palmer. That's where he tried to get past. Oh, he's on the curb there a bit. Now Rani Arnu, is he going to try and get past Tarkini? Yes, he does, even before the corner. But Tarkini sticks the wheel in. And he's going to stay in front of Raniano. Good move that to stay in front of the Frenchman. The pole sitter, of course, down to six. Horrible start to him. So now Arnu down inside, does he? No, not quite. Um, to Carquini, defensive. And is able to block the pole sitter. But now Arnu, he's going to have a move. And oh, he went on the curb a bit there. Still able to stay in front of Arnu. It's a pretty decent battle to be fair, so I think we're going to watch this for a bit. And we can also just about see Malbretto v Nanini if anything comes about that. Now through the hairpin, is he, Arnu going to make a look? No, he's not. Senna now, can he get involved in that? Jonathan Palmer v Prost, the final podium position. Palmer round the outside through the final corner, and he does get in front of McLaren, or does he? No, not quite. Prost, nowhere near as good currently in the championship as his teammate. He hasn't won a race, he's not locked into the playoffs. And I'm sure that will come eventually, but Prost is disappointing currently. Is they're able to catch back up now to the leading pack. The need out of Alberto Senna trying to get past Alberto as well. There's Prost in front of um, Jonathan Palmer. Arnu again trying to stick a wheel in. Unable to, unfortunately, for him. He's on now, he's on off the track. Doesn't lose too much time. His Alberto's lost a lot of time looking past things with Senna behind. It's the gap between Senna and the Nini's quite a lot bigger to what we've seen just. And there's one of the Lotuses there as well, just behind those two. Um, can't quite see which Lotus it is. Can Tarkini get past Palmer? And around the hairpin, lap 5 of 27. Quite a long race this will be, because of course it is a long, um, short circuit, but very slow lap times. So, could be seeing one of the longest races of the season um, that reach the full lap count, possibly. We have, we, had a, we have had a few races reach the um, 45 minute uh, max as now running our new oh, off the track off the track goes Tarkini he gets I think that's just elapsing concentration now and that's for the third time in this race Tarkini goes off the track and he's all the way down now to what is that P13 he's got PK behind him and Viteri boots and what on earth happened there he just slide Playing off the track, has gone on board. You can see, ah, oh, he just outbreaks himself completely. Let's watch that again. He got our oh, new behind him and Nanini, and oh, I think Nanini just put him off. I don't think he, he expects Nanini to be in his mirrors. He looks in his mirrors at the worst possible time because he has, that's when he's meant to be looking at where to break. And unfortunately, he outbreaks himself. We go back to live coverage now. Tarkini down to 13th. Shocking, apparently, from him. Is he's got a Lotus now behind him. To the back live now. Tarkini. Are we going to see Bootsen versus PK? Nakajima doing very well. I don't think I've seen him do this well since Mexico. So, unfortunately, he spun going through the exit of the S's and reflected by Tchezor. Or the Tchezor or one of the arrows, possibly. I can't remember. Because now he tries to get past Felipe Strafe in the AGS. One of the other one-man teams on this grid. But I think I was about to say, tell you earlier who the, those one-man teams were. And then we got round two. We've got Galara, um, Acela, Coloni, Real and AGS. Five one-man teams. Um, so AGS is Strace, Coloni is Tarkini, Galara is Caffey, Real is Cesaris and Acela is Lorini. And they're still... 
double, two man teams are doing worse than the one man team. So, I mean, you got to give them credit where credit's due, don't you? Unless we haven't had a look at the front runners recently, how are they doing? They're still Patrese from Parasala, from Cross, from Palmer, from Senna, from Arnu. But no, Senna's actually got past well, Rennie Arnu down to six now. Is the Ligier, and now Nanini trying to get past um, Arnu, is he? Could have run into turn one, the only real overtaking opportunity I'd say, and it's still not a brilliant overtaking opportunity. But down in Tiger with Nanini, and he does get past um, Arnu and up into P2. Turn two, you could say you can overtake there. In this Danini going to try and get past Senna now. No, he's not. Arnu tries to make a move down the inside. He's stuck a wheel in, but I don't think he's going to be able to stay in front. Or is he? Yes, he is. No, he's not. But now Alberto potentially getting past. I don't know. You can't really overtake anywhere else in the circuit, to be fair. And I want to see Tarkini versus um, PK. Is this a really decent battle, in my opinion? Right, let's see. Who's at the back? Um, anyone at Rush Aliot, quite nowhere near anyone, Madonna, maybe some off at the start potentially for those four. Really down there as well, Burger down there, Shiva. Oh, PK, is he going to try and make a move down inside on Tarkini? He's, is he side by side but not quite able to get past him? And that could invite Nigel Mansell to get past. I think it might do. Yes, it is. Mansell now past Nelson PK. And now Boots and also ahead of Nelson PK. That's a good move from um, those two to get past the Brazilian, the reigning champion. He's only scored one point in the season. Very poor. With Alberti now past Rene Arnu. I want to watch this battle here. I know it's not as an important battle, but well, Arnu down to eight from pole in sev just seven laps. It's not the quickest car of the league year, unfortunately. I knew he scored, I think, one point in there. Apart from that, I mean, to be fair, they did win in Canada. As Maxwell gets past um, Tarkini and Boots and also tries to get past Tarkini, but is unable to through turn one. About turn two, if I was Tarkini, I'd just let Maxwell um, cut through the pack and just try and take close behind him if you can as Boots and gets on the curb there and slightly off the track. As now there's um, Cesaris v Strafe. And there's an arrow there. No, that's actually a Euro run. Is um Tarkini's actually fighting Mansell and Tarkini is he in front of Nigel Mansell? Yes he is. And there's Nigel Mansell within trying to go down inside. No, don't make it free wide. That's not gonna be start and it's not smart and that's Tarkini round. Tarkini's off, now it's never gonna work. And Tarkini's been pincered by um, those two there and he's down to twenty first now and his race could not get any worse. He's up to P two at one point or yeah, P2, and he got taken out by Parasala. Let's go on board. Go a bit further back for the see if they overtake on Mansell through the UK. Not many overtakes we've seen through this section. And you can't, you just, yeah, Mansell gets held. I guess in the back of him, actually, Mansell gets held up by the Euro one of, I believe, Oscar. Yeah, it's Oscar Lowry. He gets past Mansell, and then... You can just about see in the mirrors if you get rid of this. There's Mansell, and there's Nanini, uh, Boots, and then I'm going to go back a little bit. Let's see whose halt that was. Um, uh, he kind of Nanini just um, boot no Tarkini sorry just turns into an, um, boots and she then bounces off him and into Mantle, which is what spins him in the end. But to be fair, I think he's he turned right into Nanini uh, boots and cause I I reckon he thought he'd back off. Tarkini didn't want to back off. I think none of them just wanted to back off. If I'm being honest. Potentially just a racing incident. But to be honest, is there's Tarkini oh, using even more places. I don't think it's very smart to go free wide. I think Boots and just a, um, use his experience and just not try to overtake anyone. Because we've still got the top four the same. The Nini now ahead of Senna. Is Senna now trying to make a move? No, not quite. There's a bit of contact, but not enough to um, upset any of the cars. Let's watch a replay of the start and see what happened to the one server back. We've got Aliot, what happened to him? Yeah, he got front wing, I don't think. Where is he? Maybe he has. Is it here, potentially? Oh, there we go. He hasn't got a front wing here. What happened um Let's see. 
Give me some fish cane. No. Turn one. Go on board. Got two marches in front of them. This is on lap five. Ferrari as well. Oh, I'm sure them to lap with Dan Berger. Unfortunately. Who yeah, else was down there? We've already got Medena and Kathy of issues. Is that at the start potentially? Yeah, it would have been lap one for Medena and Kathy. Oh, they're just Constantino and through the chicane. Look how slowly they're going. They've still got front wings to be fair. Just on board with Kathy. She's getting past with that speed. Touching to the next chicane. A bit faster. In front. Oh, there it is. It's got Williams, I think. It's Strafe versus um, Lorena. And he just goes into the back of him. And I'm assuming Medena as well. Yeah, Medena went into the back of um, Alex Caffey. You know, let's go back to live coverage now. No. Again, no. But I'm in the line, just keep fast forwarding it from there. Until we get there. Who else is down there, actually? Um, Schneider, oh, they're always there, aren't they? Marini a bit far back as well. You know, let's get about 20 seconds. Here we go. Almost there. Here we go. Anyway, let's watch the front runners now. As um, Frost now, can he get past? That's good. And move into turn one potentially. None just yet. Turn two, we could have McLaren Civil War potentially. They were one two in um, Germany last time out. Senna bit finishing out of Frost. Senna, of course, championship leader by I think about 11 points, is it? So he's more than a race win ahead of um, Richard Gelman. And at the moment, he's extending it by two points on the Brazilian, the fellow Brazilian. And let's see. I mean, not really any overtaking opportunities in this sector, maybe. For the hairpin, there we go, that's that Perisala ahead of, um, no, sorry, Palmer ahead of Pelo Perisala. Didn't expect to see a move around there, around the outside, that is a good move. And I'm going to go quickly to ads while we watch them go through this section, because I don't think we're going to see any overtakes, if I'm being honest.
back to um, Hungara ring where we have issues with Stefan Johansson. We can get replay for you now. That's what happened. And he's off the track. So maybe an engine issue potentially. Oh, and there he just goes to the back of someone. Let's go on board. There's the Lotus of, I think, Nakajima in front of him. There's, oh, just right into the back of him. And that cuts the engine out, I think. Yeah, it does. And that is Stefan Johansson's day done, unfortunately. While we're involved, we have seen some overtakes up front. Life. Oh, look how many cars there are. Be some good battling here. Not for life. There we go. Is, is that damage for Nanini? No, it's not. Of course, it's not from me then. And the crazy Parasala Palmer crossed down to six, so he's lost a few positions. How is Tarkini doing? Wretched day for the, him. 25th, he mounts over some curbs. Trying to catch up to Modena. Um, he's already pissed, he actually pitted quite early on. Probably just to potentially change the strategy, see if he can do anything with it. There's an overtake there, maybe. It's all oh, big smoke there. I think that's Alboreso trying to get past the Cesaris. Oh, I knew down to 11th, the pole sitter. It's now Felipe Stroh trying to get past Alboreso. I'm going to go for about a minute, finish off what I was doing while we were under ads, and I'll be back in a sec. Welcome back to Hungaro Ring. Alberto currently in 10th. He's got all 12 of Ferrari's current championship points. And his teammate, Gerard, um, Gerhard Berger, he's in 22nd place, so no points just yet. All season, as Boots and gets past Prost. And that knocks Prost out of the points. Prost yet to win a race this season. Both Bandertons have won this season. So that is, um, Disappointment for Prost, who he's even not going to play off yet. So, I mean, he's got a decent amount of points. Actually, no, is he? I don't think he's safe. From playoffs, he has a little bit of a wobble there as he gets past Bootson, but Bootson gets straight back past. We didn't last Senna, sorry. Senna with a wobble, and then he gets past Senna, and Bootson now tries to get past Senna. Is he going to be able to? Now, Bootson, um, then he's trying to try and get past um, Jonathan Palmer. Paris is actually past Palmer, didn't notice that. And Palmer kind of holds them up. Palmer's been, the un one of, I think I'd say, the underdog of the season. He's done brilliantly just outside playoffs at the moment. His team, no, he's not his teammate. Martini as well, an underdog, but to be fair. Most of points are from France, who has basically gifted the win, so not really much, to be fair, but he's done. Paris Silas and a lot much more than him. Boots and can't get past. Um, then there's Nini, no, Boots and gets past Senna, and then he can't quite pass, get past Jonathan Palmer. His on championship leader, Ayrton Senna, only with one one point. But he's got a decent enough margin, which no points wouldn't mean too much, especially if Kagelman, wherever he is, that you could just see him there in the background. Um, yeah. How is Boots and... Is he going to try and get past his teammate? I don't know, but Jonathan Palmer maybe might try and get past Perez Sala into turn one. I think we're going to have two overtakes here into one. Perez Sala, he tries to go around the outside to stay in front. 
boots and the header from Nanini as well into P4. It's now side by side. Still Nanini, big wobble asking by Senna to get past him. No, it's not. But Parasala is ahead of Jonathan Palmer. So no overtake from the um, Brit. Going into turn one, turn two. Nanini very almost almost got getting overtaken by um Parasala. I mean Senna, sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um Yeah. Can boots and potentially get past them. Sarah sitting in front of Jonathan Palmer. Boots and got a decent gap on the Nini now. He's been overtaken by Senna. He's just about to see behind now. Prost trying to get um, overtaken to Cheserus. He's already ahead of the Cheserus actually. That'll be Cheserus trying to get past Prost, but not quite able to. It's now Sleepy Strafe trying to get past as well. Is he going to be able to do that? start to come into the pits now um, 16 laps into this 27 lap race about 10 laps to go let's see how they're doing at the moment Aliot trying to get past Bernd Schneider Giazzani and the, the two Zach Speeds um, Zach Speed thing do all I have to say to that it's Tarkini shame for him qualified so well started so well but it all went away um, let's see these dot before they pit and then once they pit we'll go to an ab break just because they do nothing once they pit. We saw that in Germany, it was a brilliant battle for the lead. Prost had a spin going through the third Brems curve and then started to pit after that and Senna ended up winning by like 5 seconds in front of Prost despite spinning so... Yeah, we move. Senna in front of Bootson on the Nini, whichever Benson that is, I can't even tell, I forgot now. They all be into the pits now. The only one to stay is Alice Perisala, who I think will take keep the take the lead of the race. Yes, he will could Tracy stays out. Um pit, sorry. Anyone else staying out? Don't think they're not. Julian Bailey stayed out in the Tyrrell, that's probably his teammates pitting this lap. Uh, Martini pits as well, that's probably why Perisala stays out. Lorari stayed out, no he hasn't, his pit box is further on. Berger stays out, um, probably got Alberto pit, so there's no double stacks really. Tarkini going up a few positions, fair enough. Um. It's a Petrazi. Petrazi's ahead of behind Bootson. Petrazi's been jumped by Terry Bootson. That's massive. Bootson's on a blind of a pit stop. That could do wonders for Bootson's championship charge. He's currently. Um, let's have a look. He's currently third in the championship, I believe. Yes, he is. And the win would put him four points behind Senna if Senna doesn't score any points this race. And it'll put him in front of Gugelman as well. Because he hasn't fallen any points at the moment either. He is down in. I don't actually know. 25th. That's poor. And him is Tarkini again. Not the best race, unfortunately. Bit of curb hop in there, and oh, Tarkini just. Um, I think he's pushing too much and he's just making mistake after mistake after mistake unfortunately. Anyway, let's see. He's, yeah, Parasala's in, Bailey's in. Into Zach's speed. 
long con lap down here. That's um, designing of Snyder. It's designing of Snyder in the pits as well. In Derek Warwick pits, Boozum will claim the race lead. Uh, Berger is he pitted? Yes, he has. Patrese second place. Such a shame for Patrese. He's been dominated the entire race, and it just comes down to the pit stops where Ricardo Patrese just can't. I don't know what happened, but De Cesare is in fourth. We have a pit round as well. Rani new as well. Mansell up into sixth. Mansell is he? I think this is Matt. Is Mansell pitted? I don't. I think he has. Where's Senna? Prost. Senna. Both with horrible pit stops, it looks like. And they are miles down the pack. Don't know what's happened to them, but something's happened. But now they're miles behind. So we've got a replay of anything that's happened, or... Just slow stops. You know, Prost already in front, no, he's seventh. Let's see what happens. Is this a slow stop or mm, a quick stop? Maybe he had damage or something he had to repair. I don't know what's going on, but very long stop for Prost. What on earth's happening here? Very long stop indeed for Prost. Oh, was he stuck behind the march? Because he reversed out. I don't know what on earth was that was all about, to be honest. But that was strange indeed. A little bit in front at the moment. Well, I think he could get out of his pit box maybe because the march was there. I don't know. Henry Leslie, the front runner, is now with Petrini going to catch up to Boots, and he's got a pretty decent gap. Apparently, he's got the Chesaroth behind him. A win for Boots and would be massive. He needs this win. Just to stay in front of Senna. Farming out, keeping a decent gap of um, on the Chesaris. But what I want to see is if um, Petrady can catch up to Boots, and he already has. He's already caught up well to Boots, and this is brilliant for um, Petrady. If he wants to lock himself into the playoffs, if he gets um, boots and has to lap the Zach Speed, and does he have a look at lunch? They've both got past Giazzani, whichever Zach Speed it is, I think it is Giazzani. And now Patrese around the outside, and he takes the back markers in his way, and he uses that as his advantage, and he takes the lead of the Hungarian Grand Prix in the race he dominated before the round of pit stops. He is now in. Um, the lead off and Tarkini's out as well. Don't know what's happened to him. Let's get a replay of that. Tarkini's day bad to worse. It's quite a while back, it looks like. Let's see. And go for the chicane. And all oh, goes off the track there. Maybe dirt on the tyres potentially. Let's see. Oh, the curb. Oh, that curb is brutal. And he's smacked into the tyre wall there. And Tarkini with a massive accident there. Let's go on board. 
see what happened. No, we haven't quite got that sort of technology just yet. Messi. Just, oh, he turns in way too early and launches the car, and it's mistake after mistake for Tarkini, and that is one mistake too many. It's third, no, second, sorry, after turn one, but now he's out of this race. Fast forward, back to live coverage. Fast forward, need to pretty quickly. Okay, go. back live now. Just Patrice now. He's still got um, boots and pressuring him. This will be a brilliant last couple of laps. I think it's five laps to go until the end of this race. Or nine minutes, in fact. Doubt. We'll be close to the... Um, or eight minutes now. But we will get close to the um, end of the 45 minutes, I reckon. But I doubt it will um, reach there. It's down inside his boots and the boots and retakes the lead from Riccardo Petrezzi. As he goes in second, I think even... Yeah, even if he does finish second, he'll still be second in the championship after um, come the end of this race. But it's really important to him that he wins it. But Tracy, where will he go if he wins? Um, well, as it stands, he's on 14 points. Six points will put him 20 if in front of Manini and Mansell and Capelli. But that is if they don't score points at the moment. Mansell's got one point. It'll still put him ahead of Mansell and him to um, fourth place. And if he wins it, it will be um, level with Gagelman in second place. And then go to count back where Gagelman will be in front because he's won two races coming in his home race at Brazil and um, the other one at Monaco. What a race to win your home race and Monaco in the same season. If I was going to win two races in, um, this season, those are two I'd pick. Of course, my home race is Silverstone, which... I don't win because I don't drive. Anyway, uh, Petrazzi still a uh, decent amount back from um, Boots and four and a half, I, I believe, laps to go. Yeah, four and a half if you go through sector two. Now, Jonathan Palmer and Cesaris are catching up to um, these two. The Cesaris has yet to score points this season, and so is the team Real. Um, mainly because he's the only driver for that team. But, um, yeah, who else has no points is Mansell, and who's in fifth is Rennie Arnu. He's only scored one point so far this season, so that'll him into three points. Um, so respectable from the, um, Frenchman. He was on pole and went down to fourth or fifth, I think, at the start. Both the front row, him and Jonathan Palmer, had shocking starts. And so this P3 from Palmer will actually do very well for him. He's, already, he's just outside the playoffs at the moment. He'll get three point, no, four points, which will put him onto 16. That'll put him ahead of Mansell, or tied with Mansell. I don't know who will win that on count back. It's now Petrazzi into lead of the race. No, yeah, Ricardo Petrazzi leads. Boots and Sula keep a wheel in. They're side by side going to the turn two. Um, Boots and he had the inside line, but Petrazzi does well to get all four wheels in front of him. Well, a car length in front of him, I should say. And um, into the lead of the race goes Petrazzi, the man who dominated this race. Um, for the whole of the first and And I honestly think if anyone deserved it, it'd be Petrazzi. After that dominance first part of the race. But to be fair, it's do it was dominant because he had um, Perez Sala and Jonathan Palmer battling behind him. And um, he can't he can't really overtake, to be honest. So... Where is Perez Sala? Speaking of the Spaniard, down to 10th, so another one to be caught out by the pit sequence. Speaking of caught out, 90 and 20th, Senna and Prost, that is massive. Schneider versus Ali, is that? No, it's Schneider v Dalmas, he's lapped down that far. Where is Dalmas? Oh, it's 13th, still. It's like a long way to be lapped down, and how these this team is allowed to enter F1. I don't know, but Bootson's in the front. Bootson's somewhere has taken the lead of this race. Let's go back to see where that happened. It's Jerry Bootson now leads. There it is. 
down inside. It's a good move. The Patrese opens the door. And Vooch says thank you very much and takes back the lead for this race. We go back live now. Can we get to turn one? Yes, we can. But Patrese is too far back to think of a move into turn one. We've got three laps to go. Jonathan Palmer's caught up now. So is Cheserus. And um, Rennie Arnoux. We've got Mansell. And then just behind him is Nanini. Nanini wants that point. Um, not as much as Mansell does because Mansell is the one. Actually, I think they're both kind of locked in. Let's see. Um, well, actually, no, because uh, Mansell and no, the Nini in fourth is currently only four points ahead of Jonathan Palmer in twelfth. And Jonathan Palmer is currently going to get an extra three points on him. So, um, who's currently a whole win in front? I think it's only Gagelman and Senna that are currently safe. If it was this was the last race. But it's not, of course, so they're not safe. Anyway, we've got three minutes left this race, so this race could actually go to um, time. First time we've seen that this season in the race without a safety car. There's two laps to go, I think, after this lap, so. The boots. Now, Jonathan Palmer's got past Petrezzi. I missed that. Don't know when that happened. But Petrezzi looked like he could have won this race, dominated the first stint. And then the second stint, he caught up to Boots and. But couldn't get past Boots, and then Jonathan Palmer was up to second. A nice massive for his playoff charge. He had three podiums in a row, I believe, in Canada, um, France, and Detroit. No, Canada, Detroit, and France is the actual order, but those are the races. Um, it says Max was trying to get past Rennie Arnoux. Is that behind? I want to watch that battle into Tom Monk. That would be a good one. Is he going to make a move? Is he potentially on the French? When he goes onto the grass, as he goes round the outside. But not quite able to do it, and that could invite Nanini. But it's like Mansell going to get in front. They're going to be side by side into turn two. The answer has got the inside line. But can Arnu swoop round the inside? There's contact. They bang wheels. And Arnu stays in front of Mansell. Or does he know Mansell forcefully barges him off the track there? That's the definition of just get out my way. As Mansell stayed behind Arnu. And I think maybe he was a bit too, um, maybe a bit too much guilt. Of just barging him off the track there, basically. It's on the penultimate lap now. I think this race will go to the um, correct amount of laps. Is Palmer. Can he win this race for the first time of the season and knock himself into playoffs? He's got a lap and a half to do so if he wants it. Ricardo betrays. He, we thought he could as well, but unable to. In the top four now, have separated from um, the Arnu. Versus um, Nanini versus Mansell Vassal. We've got that rather forceful move from Mansell. It didn't even work, end up working because he's still behind the um, Ligia. Henry, anyway, a minute to go. And they're going through the final sec um, couple of corners now. So this will go to the full 27 laps. And his boots then rounds the final corner to start the final lap of this race. Because if, if we were in America, it'd be white flag out. But oh, that's wide for Jonathan Palmer. Jonathan Palmer goes a bit wide, but I don't think he's going to matter too much. No, it's not, because Patrese can't get past him. He's very close to Palmer on the Nini, but not quite able to, and I think he'll stay like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, if I'm being honest. Well, can Patrese get past Palmer? He's got a decent run. Is he going to try and make a move down the inside? No, he's not. He's got, I'd say, one overtaking opportunity, and that is the chicane, potentially. Not this chicane, the next one. But Patrese is off now. That could invite the Chatteris for his first podium of the season. He's already basically got his first points of the season. Don't think much, um, apart from his own driving, can take his points away from him. Let's see. Into turn six, whatever corner it is, I don't actually know. Um, through the hairpin, maybe. Can Palmer take the lead? No, he can't. So the next corner, I think, will be his only real opportunity of getting past. Is he going to be able to do it? No, not quite. Is he going to be able to do here? What about here? No. We still have seen some overtakes here, to be fair. Most notably, Boots and taking the lead on um, Petrazi, or he's kept it ever since a couple of laps ago. Now, maybe up in the final corner, I don't really see an overtake happening there. But it is doable, of course. It is basically the same as turn one, just not as much of a um, speed, because it's a much shorter straight. But Terry Boots and rounds the final corner. 
He won in Detroit, and it's the first time he's had a sniff of winning in, a non-Amer- in an, in, an a non-American race. But Thierry Boussin is going to win the Hungarian Grand Prix. Jonathan Palmer just holds off Patrese for second and third, respectively. And it's going to be Andre Tchazeres in fourth for his first points of the season. And in fifth place, you got that. It's going to be Rene Arnoux. And um, where's Mansell? Mansell's had an issue. Mansell has an issue somewhere on that final lap. Where is he? Um, he's 27. Mansell's out. Mansell's having some sort of issue. Such a shame. Yes, he was only really for one point. Let's see what happens. He starts the final lap. We saw this. This is what we saw on the final lap. Mansell rather... No, this is the lap afterwards. Oh, Mansell's had an engine issue, is he? Has he had an engine issue? Is it contact or what? Let's go on board. No, the engine just cuts out on the final lap. Such a shame for Mansell. It looked like he had the race in the bag, but unfortunately not. Such a shame that for Mansell. Is anyone else crossing the line? I think all he got finished. Perisala's out as well. He was having a brilliant race before the pit stops, and I think everyone everyone finished the race. So two DNFs on the last lap. Is that? What happened to Louis? He's in 10th, he's got, um, who is that? One of the Euro bronze of Oscar Larraur in front of him. You can see Mansell there pulled off to the side of the track. And that moves Parasyla up to 9th. He gives Nanini an important point in this championship. Oh, there it is. It's good, so yeah, it just goes. The engine just goes. Yeah, so put off to the side of the track. Unfortunately for Louis, he was doing a brilliant race before the first dent and the pit stop kind of messed him up. Is that a Ferrari rear wing? It does look like it. And anyway, that is the race done. So we can go through your results now. Stefan Johansson um, went into the back with, um, I think, PK or Nakajima, one of the Lotuses. And um, that ended his race. Tarkini, he had a big off into the wall at turn six or seven, whichever one it is. The flat outlet, well, not really flat out, but the highest speed left-hander. The exact same corner, he got pinted by a uh, Mansell and Danini in an unfortunate incident for him. But Schneider Gisani, um where Zach Speed normally are. Mansell had an engine issue in the final lap, so did Louis Perez Sala. We've got Aliot, Larini, Caffey, Nakajima, Alboreto, Warwick, Strafe, Gugelman, Senna, the top two in the championship, 17th and 18th. Thankfully, I think those two are the. Well, they're both locked into the playoffs, but I'm um, not really sure how they're. Um, that really implements them for the regular season championship. Not awfully, but not brilliantly either. Prost, 16th, not great for him considering he hasn't even knocked himself into the playoffs yet. Medena, Capelli, Berger, still no points this season. Horrible season for the Ferrari man. Chiva, Dalmas, Bailey, PK, Lorari, Martini. And your point score is Nanini, Arnu, Cesaris for the first time this season, Patrese, Jonathan Palmer. And um, to the second time this season, Thierry Bootson wins and pushes himself into the championship for the regular season champion. To be the regular season champion, I should say. Um, tomorrow will be the legendary Spa Franco de Champs. Well, if I say that correctly, Spa Franco Champs. I don't know how to say it. I do know how to say it, but I keep butchering it for some reason. From the next two races today and, and tomorrow, no, tomorrow and the day after, Monza. So, two spectacular race tracks to end off this European season. Um, well, no, they're not, because we've got Estro and Heraf, but, um, yep, two legendary circuits either way, and we'll be going to them too in the next two days, so we'll see you then. Goodbye.